Okay, so um, I'm just quickly gonna show you a few of the items that we bought. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back for another video. My name is Widzester and if you're new, I do videos about travel, business and DIYs mostly. So if you're interested in any of these topics, click here and subscribe and leave a like on this video. So let's get to it. This video is about a shed nursery tour slash DIY. Yes, for those of you who didn't know, we're expecting a baby boy and um, we uh, wanted to do a DIY to show you how you could share your bedroom with a baby. What I'm doing right now is unboxing a closet that I just bought. We did not really want to put his clothes in our closet, so we bought his own closet and I'm going to mount it. So this is going to be the DIY part since I did not film when I was uh, mounting the crib, the dresser and the other stuff in the room. And I'm going to show you the room later on, but now I'm going to show you how I mounted the closet. doing this for about two hours so uh, i'll probably stop and then continue tomorrow but almost done and it's looking so good right now This is as good as it's gonna look. So uh, we're gonna call it a night tonight and finish tomorrow. Okay guys, Laylin here. Um, so I'm quickly gonna show you a few of the items that we have for shared nursery. Um, so first off, I'm gonna show you the three-in-one crib that we have here. Um, it's pretty great because um, we can store, we, we have um, storage under the bed where we store um, wipes, diapers that we got from the baby shower. And um, here we have the six drawer dresser um, where we store some of the baby's clothes, baby's bibs. Um, here we have some storage bins just so we can easily grab and uh, separate baby's um, small stuff. Here we have extra clothes, um, baby's blankets, extra wipes and diapers, extra towels, and um, baby's blankets again. 
here we have um, our two floating shelf that I really like to store our books. Um, and that's where we put our camera monitor. And over here, we have a three-tier um, cart. That's where, you know, we store babies, um, everyday diapers, wipes, lotion, and we got some bibs and um, birth cloth here just for daily needs. And uh, what I like about this is that um, we can basically use it wherever we want. So, for example, at nighttime, we would just, um, I'll just put it on the side of the bed. And whenever baby um, pee or poop, I can just, you know, easily grab anything that I want without, you know, having to go far away. I can just stay on the bed and grab what I want. And change them. I think it's one of the items that every mom should have, really. And um, here we have our diaper genie for baby's dirty diapers. Um, and right here we have baby's personal closet because we didn't want to use um, our closet to store his clothes. Um, I think it's pretty roomy for at least two years for so about two or three years for baby so we're gonna store these clothes here so remember whatever is in there now guys is just for a video purpose because we haven't fixed anything yet and here is gonna be for his shoes and extra bath items and here's his hospital bag and down here, we have an extra jar that I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet. But all of these guys are great storage spaces that I think um, are really great, just so baby can be independent, you know, so they don't have to use our space in the room. So yes, I think um, these are the basic items that are needed when it comes to a shared nursery. Thank you for watching. Like you've seen it, that's what my room looks like right now. If you like this video, please smash the like button. Since you made it this far, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.